Oh, God damn it. The reason I have this thing dangling is because someone's lost their door stay, so I can just put the door there. Time to take off door card. Might as well show you this, just in case you want to know how to take off door card. Screw, screw. No other screws. Usually I start pretending like I'm taking the toilet pot off. They usually just pop off like that. Oh, look at that. That's just a cover. And then that toilet is just mounted with two 10mm bolts. I'm just gonna... There we go. Should you pop? There we go. And very bendy. Made of rubber. This has to come off. Has to. Otherwise we may have some pain. Come on, Chrisman! Got it. This, I believe stays there. And then it's usually most door cards come up. Out. Oh good, rivets. I love rivets. Not. Something's gotta go somewhere. Mm-hmm. One Toyota speaker. 4 ohm, 15 watt. 15 frickin' watt. Oh, with one of these. I think we'll be right. Yep, that covers the hole pretty much perfectly. This is called foam tape. A lot of other installers will call it gasket tape. I don't know why it needs a technical name. I suppose it is a bit of a gasket. We just call it foam tape because it's made of foam and it's like tape. Foam tape gives it a good seal between the metal and the wood and then the wood and the speaker so you know no air is escaping out the sides or whatever. Of course there's holes in ship but they're minimal. It's a nice seal and also it's pretty like rubbery so it doesn't slide. Just keeps it in place, absorbs vibrations, all of that jazz. It's a blunt bit. One more, one more, come on, Larry. Whoops. Okay, so I've had to skip forward a wee bit because my goddamn camera died. Ran out of battery. I'm gonna take this as a learning curve and maybe now try and remember to have GoPros at work. Skipping ahead got the right hand driver's door entirely done in the spare time. Now, so what I've done with this, speakers all mounted in, I like to use these screws that come with the Alpine speakers, they're very strong and all of them match up and looks nice. Crossover is just nicely tucked away in behind there, adhesive, adhesive door and it's not going to go anywhere. Wires are bundled up, P-clip to hold these things here so they're not going to get in the way, little things like that bundled up and then the tweeter got the tweeter mounted on the factory bracket way I've done that is just with um, a bit of super glue here and there to bond the two metal surfaces together that's just you know what that's just uh, like a temporary thing I've got also run around the back of it with a good thick bead of black silicon RTV and that stuff dries over the over 24 hours and uh, set, sets really nice and strong it sits rubbery, but it uh, still bonds the materials really well. So that'll hold that in there really nicely. Right, so there's Twitter. This is just I'm trying to use, I'm trying to look at two things at the same time here. Give me a second. Just got to get this lined up. What's up? With it? Oh, there we go. Just pops on like that. Also, you can see the Twitter in there. Nice, mate. That does have to come back off there so I can put the door card back on. There we go. 
Right, time to put the door card back on. And then that's the front door's done. Mine. As long as the camera didn't die again. And we're gonna put a nice Alpine type uh, sticker oh, emblem on there. Just so that people know what's in there and it all looks cool. to be the same distance from the tree. There we go. Hold it there for 15 seconds, just while it bonds. Cool. Peel this film off. Oh, that looks cool. Shiny. Funny that. Oh, there we go. Job done. Time to move on to the rest figures. Six by nines, that'll sound good. Get the parcel tray off. Train. Forget it, then I'll sleep forever in awakened state as the epitome of a legitimacy with the power of ten MCs who go in and don't start without the intention of finishing. I'm on a level up above the level up above. I'm throwing lyrics like some punches, several uppercuts until they rupture guts. So suck a ducks and punch your lungs till everyone is staring, saying, Man, look what you've done. It's better than a shot of yak, a blunt of vindica. And what's a mess to all of them? To me, it's nothing but fun, nothing but one. To my check, and nothing but some one who you did. Time for a set of these beauties in the back. That's the girls. Let's get some of these speakers out. Okay, we're in here. Let's see how it fits. Pretty good. It's a bit loose. I might put a few layers of, a couple layers of foam tape around there, kind of smoothen that up. And I'm also going to have to use, uh, I might have to use some kind of baffle or something in order to cover the area. Because at the moment, those screw holes are lining up with the lip and that's not going to work. So I have to make something. Okay, so here's my plan. Here's the factory speaker. Big wide bezel on it. This is a cardboard trim ring which comes with the Alpine Type R speakers. You just pop it out of the box and then gives you the inner dimensions of the speaker. I've traced, traced this speaker twice and the inner hole. I'm basically just going to cut these out of this wood and they're going to act as a bezel to hold the speaker in. It's only sort of four, uh, it's about six mil MDF. The reason I'm just going thin is because A, there's not going to be much space. These are very shallow speakers, um, uh, depth wise from, you know, from the bottom of it to the top. And also because it is just really a, a ring designed to get a bit of an extra spread on the metal as opposed to you know being strong and secure. It'll all be going through metal so it will be very very strong. But this is just going to give that little bit extra surface area coverage and also seal the hole up better. So time to buzz this out. speaker and for the mounting should be good. Ah, perfect. Much better. Still going to do the foam tape but it's much cleaner and this should just 
Okay, so now I've got myself a couple of oval ring baffles, foam taped on both sides. I put these little bits, divots on the corner so that it stays all level because that's where the bolt will go through to secure that to the um, to the metal. The holes for the speaker are also in there, they're just covered up by the foam tape. Let's see if we can get them in. Okay. Nice. That one. And that one. Nice, that's bolted down. The screw holes are for the speaker already in there. I'm gonna get the right angle drill and find the holes and then follow through the metal as well so the speaker will be screwed through the wood and metal. It'll be secure as it'll be secure as a nun's bum. Cool. I'll just give these a tighten and then yeah. So this here is the cord which came off the factory speakers, they were soldered onto the terminals and then they plug into these plugs here and here. So basically you just do the same thing, it's a really nice and tidy way to do things rather than you know soldering and putting new crimps and everything on, you just solder this end to the speaker terminals and then it's able to just plug straight in and it goes, you can see it, there's a gap there intentionally for it, so it just goes through that gap there and then goes onto the terminals. Okay, so I um, wasn't able to get the right angle drill all the way in here because of the window. So it'll be secured to the metal and the wood in the front and then just the wood at the back. But I'm not too worried about that. It's not going to go anywhere. G'day. That's my really weird, really, really weird workmate Grant. No, no, no. Come back. You, you look like you want a, a spotlight moment. Okay. You got 23 seconds on the SD card. Say something hey, funny. Yeah, yeah, a bit of a nipple. Okay, there's the rear speakers done. They look pretty good in there. Just chuck the parcel tray back on next and then put some stickers on. Cheers for watching this video guys, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and uh, make sure to keep an eye out for the final video of the subwoofer and amplifier install and to see more videos like this coming out for the first season of car audio etc.